what are we going to learn about in math workshop this week? It's all about multiples. Multiples are simply numbers found by skip counting. By the end of this session, I want you to be able to answer how can you use, how can you describe and compare characteristics of the multiples of a number. The vocabulary that we're going to learn this week is the word multiple. And why in the world do we need to learn about multiples? Because our Common Core State Standards tell us that every third grader needs to be able to use multiples in order to be able to efficiently and accurately multiply. So, take a minute now to record today's vocabulary word in your organizer. This word is multiple. Multiples definition is a product of multiplying one number by another. Example, 6 is a multiple of 3 because 3 times 2 equals 6. Go ahead and pause this video right here while you go get your organizer to record this week's vocabulary word. When you're ready to move on, you can come back and push play. Great, so now that you have your vocabulary all ready for this week, let's move on and work with multiples. You should have your hundreds chart with skip counting circle pages that looks just like the one at the bottom of this page. When we skip count, we're finding multiples of a number. On the first one, we're going to skip count by twos. The numbers we highlight will be the multiples of twos. So, what are the first numbers we will land on if we count by twos? If we look at our skip counting circle chart, or our hundred chart with our skip counting, if I'm counting by twos, I know I'm going to start with two, and then I'm going to go with four, and then I'm going to go with six. I'm basically just counting by twos, eight and ten. When I skip count, I'm counting by whatever number it is, in this case 2. So I know 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 are actually the first 5 multiples of 2. Just as I highlighted, you're going to use crayons or colored pencils to color in your multiples of 2. When you are finished down at the bottom, we need to record what are our multiplication facts using our multiples. So in this first circle, I know that 2, one time, is 2. So I would go ahead and write the number 2 and put it right here in the circle. I know that 1 times 2 is 2 because the first multiple of 2 is 2. Down here, I know that 2 times 2 equals 4 because I can see that the second multiple of 2 is 4. Next, I know that 3 times 2 is 6 because if I look up here at the multiples, oh, move on down there, Mr. 6. If I look up here at the multiples, I know that the third skip count, 2, 4, 6, or 1, 2, 3, lands on the product of 6. Finally, 4 times 2, if I look up here, my fourth 1, 2, 3, 4, is 8. Notice the pattern that I'm getting within my skip counting circles. When I'm looking at these numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, they're also the numbers that I had highlighted as the multiples of 2 on my hundreds chart. So now you're going to go ahead and complete your hundreds chart coloring in all of the multiples of 2. When you're finished, you need to fill in your skip counting circles at the bottom recording in the products of each of your multiplication facts. Go ahead and pause this video now, and when you're ready to move on, come back and push play. Great, so now that you have all of the multiples of two, I would like you to use your 100 chart to find the multiples of five and 10. So you're going to do the same thing with a different colored crayon or with your same one, it is entirely up to you. You are gonna find all of the multiples of five and then on your other hundred chart, you'll find the multiples of 10. 
make sure you look on the bottom because your copies already have the number completed for you. So make sure that you are coloring in the correct multiples. After you've colored in the multiples of five, be sure to fill in your skip, cir skip counting circles. And then you will go ahead and find the multiples of 10 and do the same to the bottom. You can go ahead and pause this video and once you have those finished, come back to push play. Good job. Now that you have your twos, your fives, and your tens, the multiples all colored in, I want you to take a minute to talk to your partner about some patterns you might be seeing. Look at them and talk to your partner about the multiples of 10 all are ending in what? The multiples of 5 are ending in what? The multiples of 10 are what kind of numbers? And the multiples of 5, what kind of sequence are they in? Take a couple minutes just to talk with your partner about each of these questions. If you notice some other patterns, be sure to talk about those as well. Go ahead and click pause while you're discussing what you see, and when you're ready to move on, come back and push play. All right, now that we have our twos, fives, and tens, we only have two more numbers that we would like to find the multiples of. You are going to use your hundreds chart to find the multiples now of three and six. You're going to do the same thing. I'm sure you're pros by now. On one, you'll color in all of your multiples of three, and don't forget your skip counting circles, and then you will use the another hundreds chart to color in all of your multiples of six. And again, don't forget your skip counting circles. Go ahead and click pause while you're doing this, and when you're ready to move on, come back and push play. So now you should have a lot of colorful hundred charts filled with multiples of twos and threes and fives and tens and sixes. I want you to look at all of your charts now that you've colored in and talk about some of the patterns that you see with the multiples. Look especially at the multiples of three. What do you notice is different about the patterns of the threes if you compare them to the patterns of the twos, fives, and tens. If you notice any other patterns, feel free to discuss them as well. I'm sure you know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and click pause while you're talking, and when you're ready to move on, come back and push play. All right, now that you've had time to talk about your math and be able to fill out your skip charts, I want to know what you have learned about multiples. You should have your two-page writing about math worksheet to help you explain your thinking. Be sure to look at your skip counting charts and use them to help you answer the questions on these response sheets. I want you to see, tell me what you notice about skip counting by twos, fives, tens, threes, and sixes, and be able to compare threes and sixes and your fives and tens. And finally, I want to know, what are multiples? What did you learn about multiples today? Be sure to use examples in order to show your thinking. As you are completing your multiple worksheet. One thing to think about for our next lesson is by being able to understand simple multiples, they will help us to efficiently and accurately solve more difficult multiplication problems. So we will be using what we learned today with our multiples of our 2, 5, 10, 3, and 6 to help us solve even more difficult multiplication problems. We're going to use these as we learn about something called related problems. So great job today, and I will see you next time.